that work on problems that don't come up with an answer. You should never give a Nobel Prize to one person. All these people are hard working trying to find the answers. So when you start giving out medals or jobs in a beauty contest, the girl gets an award. Did she make her face out of soft material, molded in a sweet beauty? Then you give her some kind of medal. But if she's born that way, what the hell is that about? <laughs> so the world you live in is as full of shit as a Christmas turkey. And you're not about to talk to people and turn them around. You have to demonstrate it. The shape memory metals that I was talking about is made of nickel and titanium. It's a wire. And if you took that wire and bent it in form so it spelled out Jesus Christ, put it on a table, put a hot lamp over it, straighten it up, put it on a table, and go like that, and go back to Jesus Christ. You can build the following, the shape of the other, if you want to. Now, most people don't know where the earth came from, they don't know where life came from, and so they invented a God who made a man and a woman, then he kicked them out of that beautiful garden. How did he do that? Snakes used to walk upright, and the snake said, eat of the fruit of knowledge. Who made the snake? God. But he loves you. <laughs> made a snake, and then he says, fool around with your best friend's wife. That's what the tempter was. So the snake was so bad that God got angry at what he created. And said, so from now on, you have to crawl on your belly. <laughs> so there, that's another thing they have about horses. The reason a horse sleeps standing up, because some holy man once asked this horse to take him across the river. And the horse said, no, you don't have to sleep standing up. <laughs> he had all this stupidity. Galileo found seashells on the mountaintop. He took it to the Catholic Church. And he said, maybe the mountain was once under the water and was pushed up. And the church said, no, the devil put the stuff there to confuse you. <laughs> now, anybody that believes in God, you must think that the kind of God man makes more like themselves. The guy that gets angry, creates flood, disease, that isn't God. And if you don't follow the Bible according to God's teachings or your religion, you burn eternally. That sounds more like a psychopath, not God. <laughs> so, if you believe in... I asked Einstein once, do you believe in God? He said, which one? <laughs> I said, well, the, he knew that the Jewish God says, if a man takes his son's eye out, you take his son's eye out. An eye for an eye and a tooth for two. The Christian God says, when a man strikes you, turn the other cheek. That's what he means by which one. All these gods are jerk that man make. They're more like themselves. They get angry, create floods, disease, all kinds of things. And you say, why did the bubonic plague kill half of the earth's population? And the church would say, uh, we shall suffer for the sins of our parents. Scientists, when the bubonic plague began to wipe out people, they said, we don't know why that happens. That's very good. I don't know. So they found that fleas that live on rats infected people with the plague. And they began to kill the rat population and wipe out the plague. So I don't say science is perfect, but it's closer to our problems than any other system. So when man makes laws, that means they don't know how to solve problems. All man-made laws are BS, bad science. All man-made laws don't deal with problems. They make a law. What you really need is, uh, it says, drive safely, safely on the highway, slippery when wet. So you put a brace in the highway so it's not slippery when wet, and take away that sign. It also says, drive carefully, school children crossing. I'm sure you've seen that. We designed a highway that looks like one comb intersecting another comb. And when the kid presses the button, the highway turns up like that. So no car can hit a kid. Do you understand that? That's what you really want. You don't want the sign out there. These dummies that are politicians are not technical. Now you're going to have to take my word for it because most of you don't look old enough. When I was a kid, trolley cars had a platform along the side. And if people were late to work, they got on that platform. And they were hit by cars. So the conductor said, get in the car or off the platform. I had a small rubber tube. Not very hard to hurt you. But get in the car or get off the platform. But when people were late for work, they still remained on the platform. A lot of people were killed in 10 years. Finally, they took that problem to an engineering firm. And the engineer said, what do you want? We don't want people on the platform. So they retracted the platform. When you got in the car, it turned up. That was the end of the problem. People really don't know what to do, so they put up a song, Thou shalt not steal, don't steal, don't be dishonest. That doesn't change people. You can go to Sing Sing prison, you see guys with a cross around their neck. And I remember during World War II how the minister of my church at that time, he blessed the war tanks. 
and he blessed the soldiers. He was Catholic. And in Italy, they were blessing the war tanks there. Same priest, same religion. Religious people are extremely stupid because if you open the Bible, you'll see that Noah's Ark would have to be at least a mile long to take two kinds of every animal. And where did he get the polar bear and the giraffe? You know, and the, bill, the ship would be so full of shit. Who cleans it out? <laughs> so the stories in the Bible are not bad. They're fantastically elementary. Stupid stories about Moses lifting up his wand and the, the Red Sea parted. Lord could put the people on the other side of the Red Sea without parting it. Just felt like that. <laughs> and they say that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that others might have eternal life and not perish. Well, when you examine that, the witnesses, according to the Bible, say after Jesus was good, he arose and went back into heaven. Where the hell is the sacrifice? <laughs> you understand what I mean? Read your Bible. Don't take my word for it. It's such a bunch of garbage written by very ignorant people like our language was designed hundreds of years ago. That's why I say we can't talk to each other. And that's why lawyers exist. They can take language and do whatever they want with it. So the books are available on our website. They're not our books. One is called Mind in the Making by James Harvey Robinson. If you want to know communications better, it's uh, The Tyranny of Words by Stuart Chase. And if you get these books, they don't put society together for you, but they deal with communication. They deal with different aspects. Then there was a guy named Serge Goddard Chunder Bose. Did anybody ever hear of him? He came to the Royal Society with new ideas, and they laughed at him. And he went back to India, the Bose Institute. When the British people, scientists, went to his lab, they were amazed, brought him back to England, and they was knighted Serge Goddard Chunder Bose because they check things out. Scientists don't always check things out. They say, that we want to know how all of this began. Where did the word beginning come from? The Bible. So they said, well, the Big Bang. What was there the day before the Big Bang? Where did God come from? Who made him? How did he get the job? You know, nobody has that question. They all say, why do they believe in God? Because they've never been told enough about how nature works. You can take a steel ball, and heat it to uh, half a million degrees and it becomes a vapor, but it doesn't stop existing. It still exists as radiant energy or vapor. So in science books it says matter cannot be created or destroyed. That means that it never began. This notion about even if I kick the bucket, if you bury me one foot down in the soil, all the plants get taller above me, all the worms get fatter. So what happens to fresco? It becomes part of something else. So the stuff you eat is what you are. Your cells, if you eat chicken or cow meat, it's turned to human cells. So the stuff you are made of is stuff you ate. Plants, things of that sort. That was always here, and when you kick the bucket, the gases go off into space, your material is eaten by worms, the soil absorbs something. I don't like that. Sure, I wish I went to a land where everything was okay and I had white wings. <laughs> now, all the angels painted on the ceiling in church the wings are too small. They at least the length of the body. Now, if the angels flew without wings, that would be a miracle. I'd like to find out without this sort of thing. And then you take people that commit crimes and you put them in jail for 20 years of life. That is an understanding. Judges would all be considered criminals because they know nothing about the background of person. If you're brought up in Japan and you're told American gangsta, all American gangsta. In Germany, Americans, Coca-Cola and cigarettes. That's the very accomplished. So if you grow up in a certain country, you're made to hate during the war. Like I used to sing in school, pretty parasol and fan in far off Japan, how nice the Japanese were. When they attacked Pearl Harbor, I was kind of disappointed. Then there was a book called The Secrets of Pearl Harbor, which I bought. And Admiral Halsey opens that book with how we got the Japanese to attack Pearl Harbor. I never knew that. I never knew how corrupt war was. I never knew how corrupt our government was. I'm talking about America. It's the most, one of the most corrupt countries in the world. I'm sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about it. All I can do is get up and talk this way. I'm not your enemy. I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm trying to tell you 
that if we use science and technology, this is what I mean by that, to do a survey of the global resources. Once we do a survey of how much concrete hospitals we have, we know how many people we can treat. But if you ask Congress, what do you think, what do you think, what do you, what do you know, not what do you think? So what we would do in the future is do a global survey first of what the carrying capacity of the Earth is. And that's, the carrying capacity means how many people that live on Earth. If you say overpopulation, that's not based on the study of the carrying capacity. But if you produce more people than the Earth can carry, you'll have territorial disputes, killing, robbery, taking possessions. If few nations control most of the Earth's resources, you're going to have trouble. It's got to wind up with territorial disputes. So it's the way we operate to produce the conditions. Just as you make jealousy and envy. If my wife fell in love with somebody else and wanted to leave, normal people say, you're not breaking up the home, you little tramp, you know. The question is, it means you're not meeting her needs. It doesn't mean you're bad. If the husband seeks other women, he may be tit men, leg men, ass men, hair men. Men are brought up with all these different values in this system. If you cover a girl, you're going to create problems. So I went to the South Seas when I was 21, and I lived on the island of Tuamotu for a while, a chain of islands, near Tahiti, French territory. Everybody on the island was nude, except when men climbed trees, they wore kind of a jock strap to prevent their balls from being caught in the branches. <laughs> so everybody walked around nude. And the interesting thing about it is I never saw a native stare at a girl's body, only her eyes. When you talk to a woman, you never say, hey, get a load of that shit. That's what you get <laughs> in civilization. You cover the girl. If people swam nude when they were this high, you couldn't sell pictures of a nude girl. You understand that? It's when you cover them up. If it was a curiosity. No kid in the islands was a peeping Tom, because everybody walked around nude. You couldn't sell a magazine, a girly magazine. You couldn't run a pornographic movie, it would have no meaning. They made love when they were able to, and nobody was shot an eye. Interesting thing, I got to know the natives so well, I watched them make love. And they stroked the whole female, the top of the head, all the way down. They had no fetishes. There were no tit men, leg men, ass men. All that's made by culture. And if you don't use that kind of language around women, you can't become equal to one another. So you have to tell them how men think. That isn't how they think. That's how they're brought up. When guys poke each other, hey, get a load of that chick, you know? That is learned in, in the culture. In the islands, they never did that. It's like you, stroking a dog. You stroke the whole dog. You don't stop at the balls. You <laughs> stroke the whole dog. You so I think it's a time to open it up. <laughs> on problems that don't come up with a, an answer. You should never give a Nobel Prize to one person. All these people are hard working trying to find the answers. So when you start